Hey, so in this tutorial, I'll be explaining how to add Team Fortress 2 items and cosmetics into SFM, into a specific character, scout, soldier, whatever. And I'll be explaining the steps as easy as I can and as simple as I can. And hopefully this helps you out. If it does, please be sure to leave a like. And if you need any other assistance in SFM, please do let me know. Alright, so to start off this tutorial, um, you guys can see in this um, in SFM I have this scene that's already composed, just scout and sniper staring into your soul. And what I want to do is change the cosmetics to other cosmetics. If you look here, uh, you can see that they have their default hats. Uh, scout has his default cap and headset. Sniper has his default hat. So, what I want to do is remove these hats first of all. So I'm going to be turning off the lights so I can get more frames on SFM because it's a lucky piece of shit of a software. So I'm going to be explaining how to remove these the default hats from the mercenaries in Team Fortress 2. But let's start off with the scout. He has his uh, cap and headset. We want to remove these things, right? So to do so, you're going to hover your mouse over the scout over here in the animation set editor. Right click him, scroll all the way down to set body groups. And then you're gonna see all of these things. Our focus is the hat and the headset. We're gonna go over the hat and then we're gonna pick none. So you're just gonna click on none and the hat is gone. Now we have to get rid of the headset. Right click the scout again. Set body groups, headphones, pick none. Now we got rid of his hats. So we wanna do the same thing with sniper. To do so, hover your mouse over sniper. Right click scroll down go all the way down to hat and pick none so there you go we got rid of their hats no issues now i want to give scout a hat um i'm gonna look around and see what hat i want to give him i want to give him this yeah yeah old uh, baker boy there are two ways to give him and uh, whatever hat you want to give him the first way and the easiest way is to select your scout or whatever mark you're using right click add team fortress item and then over here you get a list of all of the items that you can give scout from weapons to cosmetics so type in what you want so there we go here's the cosmetic that we want to give him the old and baker boy you're just gonna hit okay and there you go Scout got the hat. Another way to add the cosmetic, um, the reason I'm going to tell you this other way is because sometimes when you want to add a hat uh, or any cosmetic to your player, you go to add Team Fortress item. So let's say, uh, this is just an example, let's say you want to give the Scout Dead of Night cosmetic. So you type in Dead of Night, but it's not there. For some reason, SFM can't um, detect the newer items that was added after you've manually updated your SFM with the latest files. If you've done that, you have the Dead of Night in SFM. It's just, can't it can't detect it over here. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna have to add it manually, add it as a separate model. So you're gonna click the plus over here, new model, and then make sure you're in the TF. That's where all of your cosmetics are at. And then, all right, cosmetics, when you want to add them as a model, they have a different name than the name that they originally have. In our case, we have the Dead of Night. It's not going to be called Dead of Night. When you type it in, Dead of Night, you're not going to find it. It has its own file name that you're going to have to type in. And to find these file names, I'm going to leave this link in the description. Um, you want to go to this website called not this website you want to go to this um, forum called a list of all of Team Fortress 2 hat misks weapons and accessories this has the file names of every single Team Fortress 2 item whether it's a I believe weapon or cosmetic so what we want is the dead of night so I'm gonna do control F so I can search in the page and I want dead of night so type in the dead of night so we got this 
these are the two options that we have dead of night style one which is the normal and style two which is um, the light version so you want to highlight this the, because it's all class you're gonna have to put the specific class of the cosmetic so let's highlight this copy you're gonna replace class with whatever class you're using and then paste it in the search over here and there you have it there are all of the dead of nights we're looking for the one for scout so we're gonna write down scout and this is the dead of night for scout as a separate model enter and there we go the model is added in source filmmaker now we want to give this to the blue scout but it's red to change the color the team color of a cosmetic you want to go to the cosmetic you want to right click you want to scroll down here to set skin most of the time you're going to get two options for blue which is zero and for red i'm sorry the opposite for red which is zero and for blue which is one in our case we want uh, blue so we're going to press on a one and there you go it changed to blue now here's how you put this cosmetic into the scout to do so you want to select your scout drag him as a whole and drop him into the jacket and then let go of it you're going to see that there's a lock that came up next to it it means it's locked to the scout so whatever happens to the scout you change his pose you give him an animation whatever it's going to happen to the jacket but the jacket is not at him right now right to do that to put the jacket into the scout you want to hover over the zero and drag it all the way and as you can see it's going towards the scout and that is how you that's the second way on adding tf2 cosmetics into characters i'm gonna do it for the sniper too so let me just figure out what i want to give him so we got all these cosmetics for sniper i want to give him the stovepipe sniper shackle so let's see if we're able to add it as um, normally that easy way by right clicking and adding team fortress item what is it called again stovepipe so we can so we're gonna click on it hit okay there we go now he equipped it now i'm gonna add him an outfit um not the dead of night i'm gonna see if we can add something else let's give him the let's give him the um let's give him this the conspicuous camouflage let's see if we can add it normally we can't add it normally because it's not finding it so i'm gonna hit cancel i'm gonna add it as a separate model so add a new model we gotta figure out the file name for the model so i'm gonna go back to that website i closed out of it like an idiot um, normally what um, I just type SFM names and it's going to be the first one a list of all team which to hat misks and weapons and cosmetics or whatever and then I'm gonna hit control F to find I'm gonna type it in there we go we got the two versions of it opened and closed it doesn't matter I'm gonna go with uh, closed so I'm gonna highlight this because this is set for sniper only you don't have to change the class or anything it's not an alt class cosmetic so we're just going to copy it normally paste it here and there we have it there's the cosmetic we're going to open it because sniper is red by default i'm not going to change the skin of this but if you have someone else um, you just select it right click set skin and pick whatever skin you want blue red whatever so to lock it i'm going to get another view to lock this into sniper to lock the cosmetic into sniper what you want to do is pick sniper select him drag and drop him into the cosmetic let go you're gonna see it's locked select the cosmetic go up here to the procedural tab select zero drag it all the way now sniper is wearing the outfit and scout is wearing the outfit So, I hope this helped you, um, and if it did, please let me know if there's something else you want me to explain. 
um, a different tutorial or whatever just let me know and I'll be sure to work on one for you guys and yeah have a good one